ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get right into it. There's no need to wait around or mess around. Hell Let Loose has released their 2023 roadmap update. And to say the least, I am amped. Um, as you guys know, I've loved playing Hell Let Loose. It's been, it's actually the main reason I built my computer. Actually, it's the only reason I built my computer because I couldn't play it on my laptop. And I've been playing it since I think 2020. So it's really cool to see this game evolve over the three years and all the new changes. And then I was a little nervous with the uh, studio handover. But after watching the roadmap and the way they speak about the game, I think we're all in really, really, really good hands. So let's, no BS, let's get right into it. So this April, general bug fixing. Obviously, we need that. Some free DLC for everyone. Not bad. Premium DLC. I think it premium DLC is fantastic for the to fund the game because a lot of people said well if they're going to put british behind the paywall or any new factions it kind of takes away i have no problem shelling out for some premium dlc so we can get some cool helmets outfits and stuff like that the one thing i'm most excited about though for this update in april gameplay analytics it's going to allow the devs get analytics from in game and cut down on the bug fixing time which i think is fantastic it's the 4th of april it comes out tomorrow on the 5th so we'll definitely have to get a live stream going for that but i digress june june is fantastic a because my birth month so what a gift to me the the part that everyone i know is the brits are finally finally coming how exciting we have been waiting for the british for probably close to in my opinion two years the old developers at black matter they did a great job getting the germans americans and soviets into the game but it seems like with a bigger studio we're going to have some great resources to get all this uh this new stuff in the brits how exciting i mean for for everyone new guns new vehicles new uniforms it, it's gonna bring you know some freshness to the game that in my opinion has been stale for a little bit um and then we got some free dlc in june some premium dlc and then a new merch store which i like in game so you can check and say like oh hey do i have the most recent cosmetic for this yes no maybe uh you can buy it right in the game and then use it right away Another thing I'm pretty excited about, I made in another video, was the non-verbal communication tools. I said one of the most frustrating things about playing Hell Let Loose is when someone doesn't have a mic. But now with this, they'll be given a chance to help, you know, they'll be able to communicate with their squad better, which I think is fantastic. Improved player locomotion, which is exciting, because sometimes I feel like you run into the map versus interacting with the map. Then we got map refreshes, which after they're watching their videos, like, some lighting changes, weather changes, clouds, you know, all that kind of stuff just to keep the maps fresh. Then in June, we got the new game mode objective, which after hearing about it, it's pretty interesting. And I think a, a good addition to Hell Let Loose overall. So I guess they're taking the battery map uh, inspired from Dick Winters, uh, Band of Brothers, if you haven't seen it. And what it's going to be is a shorter gameplay experience. It's going to be a shorter gameplay experience. They estimate it around 30 to 40 minutes versus, you know, the hour and a half sometimes that a full game can take place. There's going to be no armor, which is pretty interesting. And there's going to be different abilities for the commander. So overall, I think a different game uh, mode is going to be fantastic. And this is nice because it's something shorter because, like, you know, not everyone has an hour and a half to commit to a game in one sitting. And maybe you only have an hour and a half to play every night. So that's one game. And sometimes you get smacked. So I think it's a great, great addition. Finally, also finally, our prayers have been answered. There is a tutorial system. Um, absolutely fantastic, in my opinion. Um, it, it's been up to the community, up to us, to create the tutorials for new players. And sometimes it's pretty frustrating teaching them in the game. Um, so for this, it, it's great. So we can point someone, oh, hey, here's some YouTube videos. Plus, there's something in-game. They're adding the 101st uh, Airborne, uh, 101st Airborne DLC, which I obviously will be snagging. I mean, how can you not? Um, an in-game store, which is pretty exciting, and premium DLC. They did reiterate throughout the time every single update will have some form of new content, whether it's DLC. Uh, September, you know, they got the premium DLC and the map refresh. I'm not really excited about the Steam Deck or the Windows 10. I don't have a Steam Deck, um, so. I don't really, really, really care about that all that much. Um, and then the new clan system. I'll be honest with you. I'm not in a clan, but I'd like to join one. So if anyone knows one, drop it in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, another part that they mentioned when I watched 
was dynamic weather, and that really could be sick. You're playing on a you know Soviet map, all of a sudden blizzard runs through, clouds, rain, all that kind of just to make the game feel different and change up the gameplay. Um, then, which is pretty interesting here, the Battle of Danzig, specifically the post office. I'll be honest, not that familiar with it. Um, so that's pretty interesting right there. It's going to be more of an urban map, smaller. Uh, for the skirmish style mode, they didn't go too much into what skirmish means, but still, I, I think it's pretty cool that we're getting, by the end of this year, potentially, uh, three more factions. We got the Brits, we're getting the Poles, and the Finns, which is going to be interesting because the Finns have such interesting weapons. And so do the Poles, different uniforms. They're adding in the Winter War, which I'm not sure. They really didn't go into, con you know, like, oh, is it going to be new um, new maps? Uh, they really didn't go into that that much. Another part I did hear, it's not on this roadmap, they're eyeing potentially new artillery units and German MGs. I'm excited to hear about the artillery units just because I feel like artillery currently is a little broken right now. And they said going forward, they're going to start the game in 1939 and then every calendar year advance the game. My overall thoughts. I am... Damn, to say the least. I think this is going to be a fantastic and much needed update. Uh, everything on here besides, like I said, the, the Steam Deck and the Windows 10, everything else is like awesome. I think it's going to be fantastic. Um, I think Hell Let Loose is in good hands with the new developer. I know some people are worried about that because it's a pretty fantastic game with a great community. Uh, shameless plug again, I do want to join a clan. So if I can make one, I don't know how, or join one, that'd be pretty cool. Um, so overall, I'm 10 out of 10 on this roadmap. I'm excited to say the least. Um, so if you like what you've seen, don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully, I, you know, I saved you maybe, what, two minutes from watching the nine-minute video. But definitely go check out the whole video. Um, it's fantastic. I'll drop it in the bio. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a good day.